Welcome to another video of TDX. Anyways, this is a pretty big update because now we have the rewind system and of course a new Toxinator Tower. Also, pro tip, if you see a flashing icon, it's because I added four new achievements into this game. Uh, first Triumph, Stay Down Bud, which is defeat Rob Plague Doctor six times, uh, Predator, Knockdown, Take Down Predator ten times, and First Impossible Map, Triumph on Impossible Map. So if you claim all these, you get like almost 4,000 gold. So yeah, pretty good. And it does cost $925 to play sound, but on elite mode, it's very useful because, well, it's just going to straight up one shot them. Just one shot. Boom. It kills them straight up, dude, because it does three TPS for three seconds. And if you get this one, you can one shot the uh, expert mode zombies. Anyways, these are the levels. You got the base level, level one, two, three, four and five and my favorite one is path two sorry from path two three four and five and this one really looks cool because i love the way his his uh goggles look the mass and everything and an uh air burst gun as well this one is also really good too and they wield a grenade launcher and they deal gas attacks as you would expect and they're very op so what you gotta know is that half one max goes for more crowd control because it can have the gas last for 23 seconds that is a lot of uh, time. Well, Path 2 is almost double the price, but look at that DPS. In four seconds, 275 in four seconds, that's almost a thousand. And he has an ability that aims like the artillery does. We reuse the code and then you just plop it down on someone and <laughs> dies. And a new quality of life thing that we add is that if you put your mouse up here on the little info thing, you can now see what the ability exactly does this one does 3.5 splash damage bosses take 10 percent more damage for eight seconds but regular enemies take 25 percent more damage and it does a burst dps of 250 so that's pretty nice by the way this is i guess technically the first tower to reload i guess as he will do a reload animation you guys can see him uh swap out the tube and put in another nade Go and see the damn it like i was trying to say you can see him the tube i can't see it chat is this balance chat is this balance? Chat, is this balance? <laughs> Chat, is this balance? Oh my god, dude. It's the, look at the damage it's doing. It's doing so much damage for laggy. Revive Bob, but he should know. Wait. Oh my god, they're dying because of how long it can last. Plus, it, it can stack. It can stack as much as it wants. So, yeah, once you get more OP numbers, at least you're good. Although it does suffer a bit on the bosses as the health pool isn't that high. Oh, goodbye. Don't worry, we have path two talks in here. Oh, and when an ability is used on a boss or something like that. Oh, thanks. And when the ability is used, you can now see a 10% little icon there. That means that he'll take 10% more damage. This will last for eight seconds. Regular enemies will take, well, 25% more damage. This applies to all forms of attack, making it very OP as a uh, support tower roll. He does have a lot of health, so you can take a few shots from uh, more of the harder bosses. Unlike Renardier, uh, there's no resistance towards his tower. Man, he is still taking damage. I'm gonna pop down purple path and look at him just burned from the acid. He's gonna die, yeah, he died. Oh no, guys, I'm so slow at the game. My mom's phone is so laggy. Oh. Uh. <coughs> no, I died. No. What will I ever do? I could just rewind for the price of either gold or Robux. Yeah, I'm doing Robux. Yay. Now I have 50,000 more dollars and 3,000 health on my base. And on top of that, all my towers that died and stuff like that, hey, they're, they're, they're back in. Well, Mostly. Hmm, I have this much money. What can I do? Oh, and you also get a lot of time to uh, start before the wave begins. So that's pretty neat for, to give your time to give yourself some time to prep for the uh, wave you just got respawn on. Well, all right, Plague Doctor, you think you're so cool? I rewanted really Swamp so Pro now. All right, go Toxinator. Do you want to do? Oh my god, look at his up! Yo, he is getting absolutely destroyed! And the stuff he spawns, who cares? That gets absolutely shredded! Yo! Oh, that's cool, he's still trying to survive here. We're just, uh, oh, he's done. So, pro, you guys, only in TDX. Alright, so I'm in a testing place for Tower Defense X, this is what me and Traz use to, uh, play around with stuff. This guy has a shield. 
Don't worry about it. It's none of your business. Anyways, uh, I balanced this tower in less than one hour, dude. What a new record of speed running. Anyways, so with this tower, you can actually do a lot of damage towards these uh, armored fellas because Toxin in here, well, he's not bullet, so therefore he'll pierce through armor. Uh, here, we'll just kill you real quick. And boom. No, I lost one health. So Toxin is really good with the uh, damage buff here because if we deploy it, Super heavy zombie will go ahead and die right about here. He will die here. Versus without that little damage support that uh, Toxin has just done. Uh, it's going to take a bit longer for that dude to die with just John only. He died right there. That's with just John. I'm going to do the same test with Toxin here still deployed, but I won't use the ability here. It's where I'm standing as where uh, he died at. And boom, he, he died about right here. For the price of 6,000 to do that, which is a free ability, you know, just, 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 just click on the map, you guys. When it comes to resurrected juggernauts, they have explosive proof and bulletproof, so they're kind of harder to take down. Even though I invested 9,000 in here, I lost pretty easily. Compared to Chad Toxin here, use the damage buff ability. It's gonna have to do a lot better. We're gonna kill that one, but we're gonna die. Uh, uh. So what's really funny is that uh, Toxin Air can stack as well, and the gas cloud will stay in place and last for a while. So if you just keep eating damage away at these resurrected juggernauts, and it's gonna last a while. Right now the shield's going down. Don't worry about the shield mechanic, guys. It's it's just there. Anyways, the shield is gonna be taken off, and now the health is gonna start slowly draining. Because again, this fella lasts for 23 seconds. Look at his damage going up. It just keeps going up. Even though it's well out of range. Look at this. It's well out of range. The uh, uh, damage is still being applied. Look at the heal. When is he going to stop? There you go. He stopped right about here. And he dealt uh, 2,000 damage almost. That is pretty good. What if we get three purples and do this combo? And um, yeah, bro's taking, a, taking quite the hit there. No. No. Yeah. Nice. But yeah, I really love the way this this tower came out. I like it a lot. And oh, it's winning animations are cooler. Can a fellow win? Damn. Yeah, check out uh, winning animations. Dun 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 dun. Top path is definitely for horror control, but on longer maps, max path one is a way to go because you can just deal damage all the way around. But on harder and shorter maps, going for max path isn't worth it because, well, it just won't have enough time to deal all, all, all that damage. Path two is for sure worth it all case around. However, the only con of it is that when it's cloud, um, it doesn't last very long. Unlike, you know, the top path, it'll last a lot longer and actually kill stuff that's uh, cheaper. Path 2 also has a bit more range well and has a hit limiter as well, so keep that in mind. Path 1 is definitely for horror control and Path 2 is more for damage and support role as well because this is a really cool free add-on that you get. Even on uh, 2, 3 right here, you get 10% damage, which isn't much, but it still helps, you know. It's, it's still something, you guys. And it does 100 damage on the shot itself. The shot itself does 100 damage. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the new update. We are going to work on an entirely new game mode. Well, we are begun working on it. It's kept for secret as of right now. But uh, we have been doing a lot of work behind the scenes. It's just a little small update. Uh, expect emotes and skins very soon, though. And remember, I'm John Roblox.